This video is going to be about the inheritance of organelle genes. So we know that most of our genes are found in our nucleus, but this isn't the case for all of our genes. So if you remember from the videos in chapter 6, the mitochondria and the chloroplasts both have their own DNA molecules inside of them that they're capable of replicating and then passing on to daughter organelles. So these genes, because they're not in the nucleus, they're going to follow a little bit uh, of a different inheritance pattern than traditional nuclear genes. So we'll look at mitochondria for an example. So in uh, animals and in humans, uh, our mitochondria are always going to come from the mother. And so the reason that that is, is that the egg is so much bigger than the sperm. And so when they fuse, the majority of the cytoplasm is going to be donated to that zygote from the egg. And so in our cytoplasm, one thing that we have is our mitochondria. So in this zygote that we make from the fusion of these two gametes, all of the mitochondria in here will have been donated by the mother because the egg is simply so much larger and has so much more cytoplasm in it. So this method of inheritance is called maternal inheritance. And so we uh, always have maternal inheritance when it comes to the mitochondrial genes. So defects in mitochondrial genes um, can cause some uh, disorders because these genes are going to be really important in um, aspects of the electron transport chain and things that are really important in ATP production. And so if we have uh, mutations in those genes, it can cause a real problem for uh, the individual carrying those mutations because they're not able to produce as much ATP as they should be. So just to wrap everything up, we have the uh, maternal inheritance of mitochondrial genes because um, the cytoplasm of the egg is so much larger than the cytoplasm of the sperm that when it gets donated to form this zygote, it brings along with it all of its mitochondria. And so that's how these genes get passed down through maternal inheritance. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.